Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am sort of back. Uh, I, I hope you all got my message um, on YouTube. It's uh, yeah, I'm really hurting right now and my uh, my arm is really hurting. So I'm going to have to try to just do things and um, see how they go. But this is kind of I don't know if I'm like fully back yet, uh, but we're just going to have a tiny taste of Timberborn so that nobody dies off of lack of stuff of woody sustenance i mean you gotta gotta work it i've deleted these houses because i don't like them they do not satisfy my aesthetic cravings and what i'm gonna do instead is just put down a couple of temporary houses here uh, because we do need the population so we're just gonna chuck them in here and then have the beavers build them and then we can get on to the absolutely wonderful comments uh, that we have gotten uh, today or well the other day actually let's go ahead and just high prioritize these because we need builders very severely we have lots of logs we have lots of other stuff there's other one other ch thing i want to change which is this here and that there and this one that one there as well okay so here what i want to do is i want to do a platform there so that we can get stairs up here and it'll be easy to just connect that uh, via path that's perfect okay there we go okay and now we can tell some campfire stories we are absolutely ready for this and our very first one comes from uh teriyaki meat popsicle uh we miss you by the way in discord i hope everything's okay with you and hope you you come back um anyway uh the entry reads, having completed the prototype Hungry Hungry Beavers game after several days of work, Chestnut carved a very simple set of instructions into the bottom of the base, put all the marbles into a small box he had fashioned from yet more scrap wood, then slipped out of the warehouse. He scurried along the backs of the buildings depositing the toy on the doorstep of a random house that he knew had kits. He then scampered back off to his own home, undecided as yet uh, of which research he was going to raid next. There had to be something in one of them that would provide inspiration for another toy. And then Alexandra writes to us, I tiredly opened the door after a long day roasting spatterdock and chestnuts, trying to provide the colony that took my siblings and I in with much tasty food. Inspecting the small box and its contents, I began to figure out what the contraption is. Some sort of children's game? I bring the curious board to the living room of our small hut where Gabby is watching Azzy play with her dolls and explain the concept of the game to them. Though the moody teenage beaver Gabby finds the game relevant uh, to recent famine humorous, the dark humor is completely lost on the incredibly young kit, Azzy, who excitedly begged me to play with her. Though being made to work 18 hours a day was quite an ordeal, I see some shade in this. I could spare a few moments of sleep if it meant making my youngest sister happy. I'm sure the clacking of the beaver maws on the wood as they hungrily scooped up the marbles round and round kept our neighbors from getting their beauty sleep, but hopefully they'll understand. By the time the sun came up, only then Azzy became sleepy from countless rounds of the game. I tucked her into bed, but not before she asked me to tell her who gave us this gift. Thank you for letting us have fun for the first time in many cycles of focusing solely on just survival. Thank you indeed. And of course we have now missed the campfireness. Uh, so let's read <laughs> pretending we are sitting around the campfire. Uh, again, the Sloan Mactira has uh, written about what he saw. All the beavers are gathered around the fire when Tom stands up and addresses the group. Everyone, I've been thinking. Go ahead, Tom, Zula offers. We really need a mayor or mayoress, and I was thinking that perhaps I could... Quickly, one voice calls out from the crowd. I motion that Tom never be allowed a position of authority. Another voice calls in, seconded. Zula is barely able to follow the voices as someone calls out all those in favor, and nearly all voices call out I. Tom and Zula look at each other in amazement. Tom breaks the silence. Did I miss the meeting where we adopted parliamentary procedure? Apparently I did too. So, Aramie, do you have any more cattails to share? 
I'm quite sad about this. I wanted Tom to be the mayor. <laughs> On his way home from dropping off his little surprise gift to an unsuspecting kit, Chestnut overheard a group of adults talking around the campfire. Seeing an opportunity for a bit of fun, he snuck up behind one of them, hiding behind a row of potato plants. After the vote for Tom to not hold any position of authority, Chestnut had to hold back a snicker as he made a very poor attempt at deepening and roughening his voice to sound older before calling out, I vote Zula should be the mayoress before scampering off once more. Naughty, naughty chestnut. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's check out what is going on. We should be okay. We have our drought happening in a few days. Uh, it does look like we did a get a couple of homes finished. So that should allow us to have a few more uh, people working, which is great. Um, this has been finished, this platform here, which is super, super nice. Of course, our water wheels are spinning. Oh, this is so tasty. Look at this, 1600 power. My idea here with uh, extending this road upward, by the way, is we need to close off this gap if we want all of our water to flow in from the waterfall down here toward the water wheels. And look at this tasty, tasty, long a uh, stretch of water right here. I want to shove all that water in through there. And maybe we make a dam over here or uh, here. That's right. We were going to do something over there. Um, but anyway, that is our plan for right now. Now we did have a beaver talking about this dam over here. And I would like to, to feature uh, that comment as well. Artem says, cycle six, day one, we finally finished the dam. I can't wait to get home. Working in the temporary settlement is rough. We had to camp outside, exposed to the environment. And if logistics break off, we are stuck without resources. I can't wait to see my family again. I really miss them out here. Sarn Beaver, first dam construction platoon. Thank you very much for that. We really appreciate your stories from out in the field. It was rough indeed. I agree. We didn't have any kind of housing going on. Uh, there's a little bit of water flow down here. We haven't finished this dam yet, uh, but it does look like some beavers are working on it. Who is this? This is Ambliz. Hi, Ambliz. How you doing? Ambliz is working very hard on getting this particular levy finished. Doing a great job there. Okay, what else do we have going on? Do we have? We don't have anybody unemployed. That's good. Looks like our houses have gotten built. We just need more beavers to do their beavery things around the campfire. <laughs> Fertility rates must go up. We might actually, uh, someone mentioned we might have an issue with uh, the campfire not having enough spots. So maybe we need to make one. Um, oh, I was just thinking I should probably delete this house. You know what? Uh, sorry, house. Bye. Um, Nobody noticed, I'm sure. Nobody noticed. Okay, let's get out our leisure here and build a campfire. It's the perfect uh, site, perfect size of a place for one. Um, and in this vein also, I would like to just extend this a tiny bit and add two more houses. Just a couple more there. And we'll just go ahead and prioritize both of them or all of them because we really need to get some beavers. We need, we have builders and we have a hauling post that need to be filled. So hopefully we'll get those to get some of this other stuff going. Uh, we'll look at that water flow. This is so great. Okay. Drought is coming in a couple of days though. Sad times. Um, we also have news from this particular uh, lumberjack post, I believe. And let me share that with you. This is from Totally Not a Fox, Cycle 5, Day 12. A few days after my lumberjack post got closed, I finally got the word that my lab was back in business again. Happy days are here, to quote the great KOS. Filled with joy, I walked toward my beloved hut and noticed the crew, noticed the new watering system my friends invented in the meanwhile. Together with the finished reservoir in the south, we won't be hungry ever again. But as I turned the corner at the exercise wheel, I saw something strange. Scribblings, drawings, and even calculations scattered on the path toward the huts. Worried that something horrible had happened, I stormed into the lab, only to find a fellow scientist zooming around the room. As he saw me, he couldn't stop talking about hot water that ran through powder from ground grilled chestnuts. Apparently, he didn't sleep the whole night and came up with hundreds of crazy ideas. Maybe he's onto something big here. 
as I read the humans had similar drinks called latte and ex an espresso. He stated that he contained his nut water with experimental stuff he calls maple syrup, a sweet, sticky substance to make it less bitter. With further improvement and funding, this could mean big changes in our humble little town. Enough writing for today. There's a lot of work to do. Memoirs of a scientist. Thank you for those memoirs. I really appreciate it. This is great. We South like our, our tradition of lattes in our colony will not be forgotten. This is fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's keep on going with stuff here. We are making things. Now, I kind of want to, I'm going to go ahead and redesign this place, but we're going to do it a little bit smarter this time because my main gripe with how I designed it was that it didn't look good from the front side and that's because we designed it from the back side so we're going to design it from this way i like to see this view best because i feel like it's nice to have a north as in up is north and we all know where that is and it's yeah it's just useful so i'm thinking what i'm thinking is we want maybe to do some some different stuff here. I think we want to put the buildings sideways and that gives them kind of a better, a better view, I think. Let's see. Don't want to do this. We want to do this. There we go. So that gives us a little bit more interesting stuff here. So this is going to need at a minimum this platform. Okay. So let's, let's go from here. How do we want this platform to work? We can do a see that one is on there we could have another one here another lodge there like this that way however we do need to have uh this cattail removed immediately so we could take that off if we want to do that um that could be okay and we'll have we would have to have a platform going this way actually let's delete these and we'll do the double height ones so we would need something like this like that at a minimum okay and then we'll make sure that we get this going there and then we can do something like that. That already gives us more space. I think that looks a lot better already. So if we have one there, that would be good. Now then, here, what are we gonna do about this? I think might be time that we did a, we could have, let's see, if we put another thingy there, if we did something like, Like this. That would be... Hmm. No, that's not quite what I want to do. Not quite. Because I need to have some other stuff going on here. I was going to put the... Uh, let's see. What is it called? This rooftop terrace. I was going to put it like this, except one over. Like that gonna put that there however we'd have to get rid of another cattail out of here as well though it wouldn't necessarily be horrible uh let's see we would have to to yeah basically get yeah let's see let's see if, if we get rid of this thing let's do that also fast go 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 all right Let's just do this as if we're doing this. How about that? Let's see that. And then we have our leisure structure. Rooftop terrace there. That would need a, this thing there for a path. Has to be a path there. And let's see, oopsies. But that is not at the correct, at the level of everything else. So I don't think that's actually going to work. That's not going to work. We would have to raise it up one level. Uh, that is actually possible. 
if we want oh no 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 oh no help oh oh okay we would want to raise it up one level so let's see how do we want to do this we could um we could put in more housing here that's my thought let's see rotate this one let's use the other one like this whoopsies like that okay and that's a part of a house could have another house right there this is getting kind of sneaky and at some point one wonders like is it worth it to do some of these builds like this okay there's this like that uh-huh uh, okay, so let's see. We have a path going along here to get these doorways going. We need this doorway there. And hmm, if we do a thing here, let's see, one, two, we could have this leisure center up here like that. And that would connect up here with another level of platforms. Okay. We were gonna have another one right here, but I think that may not be possible. I think what we would need to do is actually build the double lodge instead and put that one here so that we have this ability for this pathway to work. I think that's absolutely necessary, at least for reasonable connections here. Okay, and I think that it looks okay as well. That's the more important part, I guess. Let's see, 200. We do have the 200. I'm going to go ahead and spend science points with abandon. It's fine. And we'll take this, this away. All right, and this one road will connect these two. And how do we get down there? <laughs> I guess what we need to do again is delete some of these things. And again, put it on high priority and get those gone. Oh, this is so much better already. You can just tell it is very, very much better. What I can do though, is I want to pause this and maybe we make here a, let's see, can we make a beaver? Is it beavers 500? Wow. Okay. All right. Expensive, <laughs> very expensive. But I kind of want to decorate this area with something like shrubs would be good. I could put a beaver down here maybe. Um, but decoration is always very nice. It looks good and it's kind of friendly and all the things. So uh, beaver can also go here maybe. And I think we're going to be pretty happy with this build for now. We can add another layer later. Maybe we even move this campfire elsewhere. Uh, but for now, I think we're we're pretty happy with this. I think we're pretty good. All right, so in, oh, we're holy fuzzy cats. We are almost to the end of our days here. Uh, and I guess what I can do is just pull these up. I don't think this is gonna make much difference, but it's something. So we'll just take those there and call them good. So those have been folded up. There isn't much water depth here, as we can see, you know, against the tile, it's not very high. So that's, that's a good thing to look out for. Now I will say we do have one more thing. And as the drought starts, I was kind of fancied that this beaver might live in a cave under this area here. And we're going to have a quote from Sabarus Terrace. Thank you very much for chronicling this cycle five day 17 thank you to the elder beaver who told me to mark the date on these the drought has come and we'll see how our efforts hold up i headed out to meet tomas again in his mole hole this time with some fresh grilled spatter dock this took him by surprise for he's never seen such food before he enjoyed it immensely when i told him the drought he looked about the drought he looked worried i tried to assure it was not the first told him that our best weather beavers were saying it would only last six days it gave me a solemn warning uh if they grow a bit longer and more frequent we might have unwanted guests underground i asked why that would be a sign tomas shook his head 
because the water springs from below ground, they keep see sealing it up at home to keep their tunnels from flooding. I asked what could be done. His reply that he was that he had to start chewing through their barricades. Apparently, they made use of roots for wicker and woody mushroom stock in place of logs and special mud to make it all watertight. Something I will pass on to the science beavers. This could be useful. As he chewed them through, they started building them sturdier and more quickly, but he kept doing it so that his home above would not wither and perish. Tomas looked weary just recounting this. I asked him how he ended up here if the situation was so dire. After all, from what I'd heard, the area of Groington and her sister communities were thriving. That's because they finished the reservoirs, child. He spoke with pride. It was a glorious day for me, and one of panic for the poor moles. The rumble as the waters began to flood the upper warrens were music to these old ears, and I made for the furthest reaches, since swimming against the current would never work. Even the best beaver couldn't hold their breath that long. The old beaver took the lotus off his nose. I'll admit, I wanted to let them all down as grim as it all drown as grim as it sounds, but then in my escape I ran into a nursery. All those little faces, tiny noses twitching in fear, and their caretakers holding them close. He looked ashamed. Only then did I realize they were just trying to live like us. I told them to dig south by 500 body lengths, then dig up. Then I collapsed the tunnel between me and them. I caused more collapse behind the first to slow the flood for them as much as I could before the current swept me up, and I washed up here. He seemed troubled, so I, not knowing what to say, decided it was time to leave. I bid him a good night and headed home. And the drought is coming again. Thank you very much, Sabras, for that uh, note. We, we really enjoy hearing the stories. And here, indeed, comes the drought. So we're going to be out of power in this area completely. So life is going to be a tiny bit rough. Um, yeah, I, I uh, we might want to have a backup of the power in some way over here. I kind of want to plan for this area to have water wheels as well. So let's let's just plan them out, shall we? I think we will take let's see, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four. But one, uh, uh, uh. Okay, there is where we need to have our water wheel channel over here. And I think we need to place them uh, on a block uh, so that they are, you know, having there. Um, now, we, we did have the latest update where the Iron Teeth did get different water wheels, but I believe we still have the same ones. Uh, yes, I think we do. So, um, let's see. We need to get the power line along this ridge here. So if we were to make some platforms, now these cost four planks and two logs. So it does cost processing power, uh, but it's less logs altogether. But there's also kind of more flow in the bottom of this channel. I don't know if that's necessary because it does actually stop here. So I guess it wouldn't hurt if it was all levees down here. Um, I think we can manage it with the cost of the logs. So we're just going to like fill this with levy bits here. What I really want to do is get the first wheel positioned and then we'll figure out the rest. Okay, so we're just going to do this for now. I don't know exactly where the stuff is going to go. So let's just figure that out right now. Okay, power, water wheel. Let's go here, here, and then the next one below it. Okay, that seems fine. Oh man, I wish for like a uh, eyedropper tool. That would be so nice. Whoops, not that. Levy here. Okay, so this is going to be Water Wheel City. And I guess we just do something like that, maybe? Maybe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in so that we can have a road going along this edge. Like that. And then water wheels are going to be placed in here. Okay, so this is going to be our 
Oh, that fits actually perfectly with this, that point there. So let's just place our, our shafts that we need here. Let's put those, those, boom, boom, boom. And of course the straight ones connecting. And then here, I think we're gonna need a couple of platforms there because we do want water to flow into this area. Oopsies, thank you, autosave. And this is going to go here somehow. I don't yet know how, but I do want to block off the areas that are not getting any water. That's kind of important. So levees up this way. Ye like that. Okay, very good. And here, maybe, well, what we can do here is actually put in, let's delete these straight pieces. Uh, and then let's see what we could do is put in a couple of power wheels here, but we need to figure out where this is going to connect to the main power thing, which is under this road there. I think we just take it this way. I think we just go here, uh, that way, and then shaft and then turn it under the road there. I think that's our solution. Now then I want to check where we can fit in, uh, some manual wheels. Let's see power wheel. Let's go that one there. And then I guess we could do one here as well. If we clear this debris, we need to clear that. And then we can put in another thing there uh, and actually f aligns perfectly with where we have these shafts. So that's, I'm quite happy with that. So I guess what we do is we pause these. Wouldn't it be nice to have like a multi-pause tool? That would be so good. Pause all of this stuff. And that and that as well. Okay, good. All right, so now we got stuff done. Uh, let's check on the priorities for stuff. I think we could probably do with down prioritizing this for now. And then I'm going to down prioritize the wheels. Mm, should I? I don't know. I think we, we can down prioritize this entire structure perhaps for now and just work on uh, these other planks and stuff around here. And also the bakeries are kind of important uh, though. I guess we can't operate the bakeries without having the grain. Okay. So we have uh, some slight issues with stuff. Now these guys really should be prioritized up. Uh, this is pause. This is fine. We have a tiny bit of water here. So I guess here, yep. Prioritized is harvesting for now. I think everything is dead though. So that's okay. So we're going to prioritize planting again and we're going to pause these. Let's unpause these and pause these guys. Let's make sure that we have enough water. Oh, but drought is almost over. So we're actually okay. We're doing really well. This is almost done. I'm very happy about this. Look at this. This is kind of great. Hey, now that's going to cut off some of this area. We'll go ahead and lower these. I don't know how long they kept the water last time, but obviously it wasn't very long, but it's okay. We're, we have enough food and that's the thing is this is our, a big crop growing area, but the areas that we have watered will definitely keep us alive because we have such a nice stock of food as well. We have some grilled chestnuts going on too. So, all right, we have 15 people unemployed. That's crazy amounts. That's kind of great. Kind of like really great. Let's see, just make sure we have lots of people there. We do. Okay, very good. Now we're having, we have plenty of builders to build stuff for us. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I think, hmm, what do we want to do here? I'm thinking we might build a builder's hut somewhere. I kind of want to get these houses done so then we can just build, uh, other stuff I'm kind of regretting building these, all these other small houses. Okay. But in the meantime, we can open up the inventors huts that were closed for a while. Uh, but as these permanent houses are built, I want to delete the, pr the temporary ones. I'm going to build another, uh, builder's hut here make that highest priority. That's good. Oh, this is working pretty darn well. Now 
Huh. We do need to get this going. I guess the only way to do it is just, you know, just do it. That's what we have to do right now. And that involves, let's see, this connection, that bridgy bridgy. So here we go. We will take this connection point and then make another straight power shaft there and then do our bridgy bridges and make that also high priority like this. And then add our road, of course, on the top. Really important to do that, of course. And then we give it priority to get that done. And I guess what we, what we do need, we do need those two pieces. We need that and we need a connector right there. Okay, and I guess they'll just have to walk around for all the pause stuff. Unpause, unpause, unpause. And this will be also on slight priority. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Now then, uh, we have these things which should be opened up because we now have lots of power. We have lots of wind power actually powering these guys. And I'm hoping, I kind of want to connect all these things, but at the moment we don't really need it. And maybe here, maybe what we do is we don't do, maybe we, we don't do these things. Maybe we do wind power instead. Let's see, could we, could we, can we do wind power there instead? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Can we wind power this? Power connection is blocked. Oh, but it works. It does actually work. Let's see. It doesn't like being there, but maybe we can place it elsewhere. Okay, I think it's too close. Oh, look at how weirdly, look at that. It doesn't like that road. Do you see how it changes? That's fun. Okay, cool. All right, we can, we can work with this. It's not a bad thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna change this piece then and change, okay, that's fine. We'll put that one there. Okay, very good, very good. No need for beaver power. What are we thinking? We need wind power, aha. All right, so yay, the yay is real. Yay is good. Um, let's look at our priorities on stuff. Let's go ahead and elevate these for now. And I think I'm gonna, oh, also we need to elevate these and anything under them because otherwise we're not gonna get anywhere. Okay, these two, there we are. Always gotta check that stuff because those have to be built first. Strange that having to build on the ground first. <laughs> oh yes, and also our water is back, hooray. Okay, we're good, we're good. And I forgot to send, oh, actually we didn't have the road, so it's fine. It's fine, nobody works here anyway, it's okay. All right, we have 11 unemployed people. Hopefully we're gonna get those planks for this to work soon. But yeah, now we have lots of things going on here. This one is uh, making wheat flour for us, I think, except we have no wheat, so that's a bad choice. Uh, let's make cattail flour instead. <laughs> okay. That, that's a better choice. Okay, and then which bakery? Let's choose a bakery. I know we have one making stuff. Current recipe, none, none, none. Okay, so we're gonna have to build these warehouses on priority as well to make the cattail crackers. All right, that's okay though. We're gonna get there, it'll be fine. Okay, stuff is happening. We are now planting spatter dock, planting all the things. Uh, let's go ahead and pause these uh, water, water gathering machines. Oopsies. Not that way. Go away. No. Help. Okay. I hate that right angle turn thing. I really want to, like, I'm hoping we get to the point of being able to remap keys. That would be nice because I would unmap that completely. All right. We have 635 logs. Let's go ahead and get more builders working. It's really important that we get stuff done. So now we have tons of population. This is kind of great. Hopefully they're going to work on all this stuff here. We do have lots of gears being made. We have two buildings now making gears. We have an extra uh, place making planks. So that's great. Kind of wish we could share this power with that, but man, that's a long way to go. I think what we need to do though is maybe we get in a second plank maker here. 
because right now we need a whole ton of planks. And actually we have so much space that is uh, usable, which is great. It's really great. So we'll take that. We'll also delete some of this stuff here. Uh, we'll do that also on priority. So in case there's nothing to build, they can just work, make planks and stuff. All right, what are we lacking? Okay, we have planks. We probably need a few gears, but I also, I think we just need more planks. All the planks, all the time. Let's go, go, go. There we are, Ray. Because we have tons and tons of power. We have 1100 power just with these four water wheels right now. Now, what I am worried about is that the amount of water wheels in here is gonna stop the flow somewhat. Uh, so we need to make some kind of gate here. Uh, and those that's what this uh, levy is going to be for. I'm going to go ahead and put these on a medium priority to take out. Hopefully our builders will get to them. I don't know if they actually can get to them. It might not be possible with our current configurations. Uh, because what I'm thinking is they may not be able to get there. No, I think they're not. I think what we need is to have either a road cutting across or maybe stairs down from here or something like that. Um, yeah, we could do that, I guess. We can do stairs here. Just even if they're temporary, it would be fine. Okay, let's high priority those and that should be good. And we're getting more and more beavers building for us. This is exciting. Oh my gosh. All the building going on is nuts crazy good. It's great. I'm really excited by this. Oh, look at this. Okay, so they finished this walkway. Let's go ahead and pause this thing and make sure that they get that corner gear. This is cool. Oh, this is great. This is really great. And the next bits are gonna require much material. That's the thing is like the warehouses here, they require 60 logs and 80 planks. That is just, Tons, tons and tons and tons. All right, so that's finished. Let's go ahead and unpause this as well. All right, beavers working, working, working. Let's, we can, uh, I think that's okay for now. Let's pause this thing. Just wait. Oh, okay, sorry. I just didn't see the sign way up there. I think this should also be prioritized the demolishing because I really want that done. Okay, why are you game? Okay, for whatever reason, when it drags, it was dragging this one into it as well. Such a strange thing. But this means also that maybe we want to plant some wheat. And because this is the evergreen area, I'm going to have to delete some of these carrots, I feel. Uh, and I know there's plenty, but we have actually run out of room for carrots. So we're gonna delete this area here and just make some, I shall leave that. I'll just leave that, that's fine. We'll just delete these and we'll put them on priority there and our beavers should work on it. Yay. Oh, look at these, everybody's cooking. We got spatter dock, we got more spatter dock. <laughs> They're both baking grilled spatter dock, really? Okay, let's see. This is potatoes and chestnuts. Okay, that's great. Are there any other recipes? Or this is just enough? Spatter dock, chestnuts, and potatoes. All right, sure. I think we... Do we have enough? We've got enough chestnuts and cattail roots. Cattail flour. We don't have a lot of spatter dock. So I'm going to go back to chestnuts on that particular one and call it good. Also, we have this underwater walkway which probably is not ideal i think we're gonna have a bridge over here um well obviously made out of levees so that uh our beavers won't get detained by the weight of the water pushing on them because they do actually walk slower in the water i believe uh, or at least it used to be are they slower it's hard to tell actually but it is beautiful isn't it like the water flowing over the the, the plants i think it's so gorgeous it's so nice love it Okay, so, all right, we have another power source here. We've got the windmill now, all right? All right, this is happening. So what I wanna do here is we want our beavers to now plant wheat. Wheat is going to be the new food, new power food for beavers. 
here, there, and everywhere. Is anybody working here? No. Okay, let's make somebody work here. We have 14 unemployed beavers. Uh, I'm not really sure how to do this. Maybe we need to just prioritize this section here. Uh, I think I built too many houses, but it's fine. It's fine. We just need to make sure we build more water tanks because that at the moment is probably the best thing that we need to do. The water tanks are actually quite empty and that's a bit worrying to me. We need more water, uh, water ma uh, makers, water makers. Yes, that sounds great. This is English, everyone. <laughs> this is English. <laughs> Maybe one day it will be English. <laughs> Jeez, that's so bad. All right, let's delete those plants. And I want to put in another water pump here on priority because I feel like we're definitely not getting enough here for the dry season. Let's go ahead and put this there. Oh, geez, I forgot one. No. Dang it. Okay, it's fine. It's just fine. Put this on priority and then we'll get things going. There we go. Sticking it off. And we grab a water pump here. I probably shouldn't invest more into this area, but it's okay. It's not very uh, critical. So let's take that. I mean, it is kind of critical, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that means we probably also need more pumps in this area because this is our very deep reservoir where we actually want to do some pumping. How do we do this? I think we can start by putting a road here if we do a road this way along and, it, and we kind of continue this canal of water wheels I think that would work quite nicely so we take this and go this away and we delete this road at the bottom because I think we don't really need this at the moment maybe we might uh, I think what I really need to do is just delete all of these cattail plants. Can I build on top of them? I can! Oh, yay! Okay. Good deal. Good deal. So let's delete this roadway. And be done. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. And we are going to start building stuff. Let's see. If we build levees along here can actually put in the water pumps along this line. Now the first one is going to have to be a little bit off from this area here. But let's see what we can do. Let's see. We need our two high pathways. So something like here or there. How's that going to look? I want it to also look nice as well. Because I don't want to like completely, you know, have everything looking very bad or something. Let's put in another one. So these we didn't need. Just kind of testing this, see what it looks like. Another double platform and put in another water pump here. That way this levee can be kind of double purpose. Okay, that is, oh gosh, it's hard to see. Okay, so that's going to look like that. That's not too bad, I think. And the same can be on this side as well. I think that would actually work very, very well here. So let's do that. Let's put in double platforms here. And maybe this is a better side to do things on because we don't have to extend this uh, artificially. Yeah, let's just let's put that on super low priority, I think. Let's just do that. Because I'm, I'm, I'm uncertain if we want to continue this, this direction. But this is much, much more interesting to me, I think. So we'll do this on a kind of medium priority. Let's add two water pumps on medium. Okay, it did get the tiles underneath, so that's great. Let's see, housing. No, we don't want housing. We want water pumps. There we go. Uh, the only issue, which I have just now thought of... <laughs> is is that we have no uh thingies but we're gonna build the thingies because i now thought of the thingies right now uh let's delete this one here let's get a water pump there and then we get a water container next to it double platform yes right there 
and we're gonna add our beautiful large water tank right there. And I like the way these are set up where you can just, you can connect them either sideways or, or you know, short ways or long ways, it's up to you. And I really like that ability to do that. It's very nice, very handy. Okay, let's take this. Okay, and we're selecting from the bottom. All right, I think that's gonna work really nicely. That's great. Look at this, this is cool. Wait, we have thirsty beavers, why is that? Beavers, come on, stop being thirsty. That's a really bad thing to say, but it's true. All right, so that means we're gonna have some water storage over here, as well as plenty of pumps over here. And when we have a road connecting these, it's gonna be even, even kind of better uh, because we can have more storage in this area. I think it's going pretty well. So I think with all of these plans happening, I think this is probably a good time to say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.